So fun begins on Staten Island. We're at a little shop here on Castleton Avenue. I think this is uh, one of the first places that I worked with Keith when he invited me uh, to the island. We got a 2013 Infinity uh, intermittent can problem apparently. It was in an accident as all cars on the island eventually get in accidents I guess. It was repaired for cheap. And then this problem started happening where sometimes the network just goes down, you can't do anything, you can't start it. Uh, sometimes it starts up, but you know, no communication with anything. So right now, it's actually acting up. It was running here for about half an hour. And I'm like, hey, it's acting up. Let's hook up the scope. So pin six and 14 are the can. Pin seven is our K line. So, Right there, pin 6 and 14, blue and pink, that's the main can, and then pin 7 is the purple, that goes to the next page, that's our K line right there. So when I got here, uh, the yaw rate sensor and the airbag module were disconnected. So this guy here and this right here. So the, my question is, does it have anything to do with it? So let's, since we already have access to these components, let's look at the scope and unplug these things. You know, let's first unplug the yaw rate sensor. Easier said than done, I guess. Uh, or unplug the airbag module. Nope. Okay. It looks like our can got restored. Can we control? We start the car now. Let me just zoom in. Sometimes problems like this are amazing. Yes. Our can turned off, so boom, bad module right off the bat. That was cool that it acted up, and I asked them to plug everything in stock, and apparently that's that's the culprit. So let me save this. We'll, you know, the car should start now. Okay. And then we'll plug the module back in and see if the can just drops out again. All right, so car's running. Let's roll the scope. We can even bump, up, reduce the uh, time scales here. Okay, so I'm gonna plug this back in. Everything's good. Let's um, 
with our scanner, we can talk to the car. See infinity. So it must, it must have warmed up here a little bit. Let's get it nice and hot inside the car. And scan everything for codes. We should have a lot of communication codes. So let's do a smart scan. And we should, you know, all the modules should store codes. And the codes were cleared before. I started. Okay, report. Okay. Yep, okay, so engine, lost com, can com circuit, can com circuit, can com circuit, blah, 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 blah. Lost com, lost com. So let's go back here. See, why can't I? Okay, right there. So I shouldn't be able to start the car. So again, we're hung up on three point four and one point three volts. If I unplug this middle connector, let's see what happens. Restore communication. Car starts right up. So that's definitive proof that this airbag module is dead in the water. It's been in an accident. Needs a new one. Um, Let's go back a few screens right before it died when the start stop button didn't respond. Right here. See the bias voltage there got all messed up. So what is the computer going to make of that? Garbage. You know, that's more reasonable. and then it completely died. So, it looks like here it was still okay maybe. Yes, here it's still good. See the bias is at 2.5. So very cool capture. And in the airbag module I'll just show you the codes. Oh, interrupted communication because obviously it's unplugged. But it has um, pretensioner circuit codes, control unit circuit codes. I mean, that right there says the module is bad. But pretty cool. I thought I was going to be stuck in this car for hours. Luckily, it decided to act up. We got the scope out. Boom, confirmed, unplugged the module. Uh, no issues. So, on to the next one.